Would the full release candidate 2 have just been released? Well, actually a couple of days ago. But the point is that Guzzo 4 is closer and closer. We can see here the Guzzo 4 release is mere days away. Remember that, that uh, we've had the first release candidate last week. This means that probably uh, the next week we will have our release candidate number 3. Probably not the uh, official version. But as I always say, every week that goes by, we are closer to Guzzo 4. So basically what I'm going to be doing is to download uh, this new version of Guzzo and I will be trying out the new things. Well, actually, uh, I will be testing the loading times and seeing if everything is working just fine. First things first, I, I am in the download section and I'm going to download the standard build. And here I'm going to select Doe version 4 release candidate 2 for Windows 64. Then I will have to wait until this download finishes. As usual, we have the executable file and the console. So basically, I will open the executable and see how much time it takes. Okay, it's pretty fast. I think it's even faster than release candidate uh, 1. The interface is exactly the same one. I don't expect them to change uh, the, the interface because in most uh, release candidates, they are just solving errors or adding uh, very, very small changes. So let's now uh, create a new project. I'm going to call it release candidate 2. Uh, I will create a new folder. Uh, we can select the render, but I will just leave the default option that is for well plus. And I will create an the project. We'll also see how much time it takes. Uh, I believe this time is very similar to release candidate 1. It's pretty fast, although. If we compare this loading time to, for example, the Unity's loading time to open a project, obviously Gujo is much faster. So everything uh, seems to be the same, same uh, engine. As I always say in the article of the official web page of Gujo, you have um, the official uh, features and what's new about uh, the new version of Gujo. As you can see, there are some fixes. And other features, for example, about animations, about the editor, about the GUI. I believe they aren't uh, too much important because, for example, something uh, very important I believe about Gujo 4 is the cinema mode. I believe was called the movie maker mode. Well, it's the same thing. Or, for example, uh, the new interface of Gujo 4 is just incredible. Whereas small changes in the editor, in the GDScript language, etc. aren't as good as these changes. So just to make a quick test, I will create a new 2D scene and I will save it. Okay, everything pretty fastly. And then I'm going to add here a sprite. And I'm going to quick load the icon of Gojo. I will also center it, let's say. Then I'm going to attach a script to this node 2D. Again, with a template of object empty. And then here in the ready function, remember that the ready function is called um, when we press the play button. So what I'm going to do um, is to call this a uh, sprite, sprite2d.modulate, and I will change the color to color.red. So now when I press play, I will select this scene as the current. And we should see, okay, it's, it's taking a while. Okay, we have it. And the color of the sprite has been changed. So basically this version of Gujo is as good as the others. As I always say, if you really want to know the details of the new version of Gujo, you should read the article in the official web page of Gujo. What I'm only trying to do with these videos is to tell you that the new release candidate or a new version of Gujo has been released and also I will tell you if the loading times are good or not and if everything overall is working fine I believe that basically this version is as good as the other ones the only thing that they could uh, let's say improve is the loading time because in Gujo 4 you can open a project in like 1 or 2 seconds and in Gujo 4 you have to wait like 4, 5, 6 seconds of course, it's an incredible loading time because, for example, Unity takes above a minute to just open a project. 
but well if you would like to receive more notifications about Goodjob 4 and to stay tuned about new versions of Goodjob, you should subscribe to the channel. Leave in your opinions of Goodjob 4 release candidate 2 in the comments down below and also see you on the next one, bye bye.